Hi, my name is Kira. I'm a family food writer and recipe developer over at My Fussy Eater, and I'm going to share with you a few tips and tricks that will hopefully make feeding your family over the next few weeks a little bit easier. I know things may seem very unnerving at the moment, and even more so if you're a single parent facing isolation by yourself at home with the children, but there are some things that you can do now to help you prepare. So let's start first of all with fruit and veg. Frozen veg is obviously fantastic, it will last a really long time in your freezer, it's really nutritious and of course budget friendly too. If you can get your hands on it, get some frozen peas, sweet corn and mixed frozen veg. These cook in just a couple of minutes and they are brilliant to chuck into pasta sauces, rices, soup, anything like that just to add a little bit more nutrition. If you can't get your hands on frozen veg, as I know it's in short supply at the moment, then just buy whatever fresh that you can find. It's still a really great option. To make it last longer, things like potatoes, carrots can be kept in a cool, dark place in your kitchen, or even if you have space in your fridge, put them in there as well to make them last a little bit longer. If you do need to self-isolate for a few weeks, there's lots that you can do with that fresh veg now. You can batch make soups, stews, casseroles, get all of that ready into the freezer. If you don't want to cook the food right now, dump bags or freezer stash bags are a great option as well. These are bags of uncooked fresh ingredients that are frozen and then can be defrosted and cooked at a later date. There's so many recipes for these all over the internet or you can message me on Instagram or email me and I'll give you some ideas as well. So most kids love some form of fruit, but you may want to think about what you're buying when you're looking for longevity over the next few weeks. So things like apples and pears are great. Again, keep them in a cool, dark place. They'll last a little bit longer. Berries don't last so long. Definitely keep them in the fridge. They can also be quite expensive, bought fresh, but are much, much cheaper frozen. If you can get your hands on a couple of bags of frozen berries, you can use them for things like smoothies, mix them into porridge, or even use them for baking with the kids for things like muffins. Then bananas, never throw away brown bananas. They're an absolute gem when it comes to baking, particularly if the kids are gonna be home. A great option is to use them up in some form of banana bread. Bread is another essential that you may wanna think about putting in the freezer if you're going to be isolated at home. However, don't just chuck the entire slice pan into the freezer as all the slices will stick together. Instead, do the simple trick. So open up the bag and push the slices down a bit to separate them. Close the bag back up and freeze it like that. This will make it much easier to pull out just a couple of slices at a time and you can put it straight into the toaster. Another great essential to freeze is milk if you're worried about not being able to get out to the shops to get it. You can freeze it in ice cube trays or ice cube bags for handy tea and coffee portions. You can also freeze cheese, Grate it first, then pop it into a container. Even yogurt can be frozen, and a great way to do that is to make frozen yogurt bar for the kids. And again, it's just another activity to keep them entertained for a little bit longer. So lastly, I'm gonna talk about bulking out expensive ingredients like meat. You can make minced beef go a bit further in dishes like bolognese and chili by adding grated carrot and courgette. Also a handful of dried red lentils will do a great job too. They'll add nutrition and bulk out that meal and hopefully help you get two meals out of one. If you can, get your hands on a few tins of beans. Butter beans are fantastic to add to a sausage casserole or black beans are really great in any kind of chili or Mexican dish too. So I really hope those tips were a little bit helpful for you and will be helpful in the coming weeks. I know things are really crazy and very uncertain at the moment and as I said even more so if you're facing isolation by yourself at home with the children so please do email me message me on Instagram if you have any questions or I can help anyway when it comes to food I do have an app called my fussy eater with loads of recipe ideas and baking ideas for kids but also on my website I have over 500 recipes completely free to access and print out so take care guys and hopefully speak to some of you soon